So you have to excuse my appearance. Right now, I'm about to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to make a video with an ugly shirt on. For one simple reason, I have to deal with the mug that's in front of us. And the mug that is in front of us means I cannot toy around with the video game that I love to play. And at the same time, I need to make sure that I've got a nice clean little space because I'm gonna be dealing with an adhesive. Absolutely not the funnest thing to do. Um, we've got a little bit of an accident here. We've got a double walled um, Starbucks mug that accidentally broke. And there we go. That's the way it should be. It should be a very, really, really nice, pretty mug. Very, very colorful. It's from Jesse and Katie. Oop, I got it upside down. Jesse and Katie. Now, the weird thing is, um, the double wall mugs tend to break very easily because there's two walls on the inside. Um, and the two walls actually make it easier to basically hold heat. Now, I'm not gonna be able to use this to actually drink out of anymore, but it doesn't mean that I can't do this here. Can't treat it like other Starbucks mugs that I had to unfortunately retire. Um, this one here, the varnish actually gave way a little bit, so nasty stuff started growing inside of the, the actual lip of the cup. And I'm not gonna revarnish it. I'm just gonna say, you know what? It's gonna be a really cool mug. And the same thing was happening at the bottom. This was just not really, you can't really, you can probably barely see it. There's a little bit of um, discoloration down here. So basically the water was going inside of it and eventually this was gonna chip away at some point. So there's broken varnish at the bottom as well. And there's not much you can do with uh, mugs like this here. You just have to retire them, um, allow them to live a second life. So what I'm gonna do is just get this here and basically just paint it or just get some adhesive down. This is almost a perfect fit all the way through, except for there is a genuine hole in um, one of the flowers that's on here. Like I said, this is a very, very colorful um, mug here. I'm gonna do this here in two different sections. At least that's what's in my head. I'm gonna do it in two different sections. Um, section one is gonna be just getting the inner coat in there, or the inner layer in there. So we're just gonna attach that real quick right there. There we go. And you see how we got a little bit of overlap here? That little bit of overlap, I'm gonna hope that I have some overlap on the outside, that way I can use the outside for um, the, the two holes that are actually in the mug itself. So that's it for that first piece. I'm just gonna kinda let that sit. And now for this one, this is one of the parts that actually has a genuine hole in. There's a hole here. And there's also a chip. I believe the chip is, I don't know where the chip is. You'll eventually run into it. Oh, there it is right there. I believe the chip is right there. And that chip, um, actually, I lost some of the paint, which was really, really disheartening for me. Now, this is sloppily done. I am not much of a craftsman person, um, arts and craft kind of person. I'm not. But I do have some arts and craft skills. You know, back in the day, I used to go to summer camp. And when I went to summer camp, um, I basically learned to not fear um, getting a little dirty when it comes to, oh, I got something on my finger. As I said, don't feel getting dirty. I go like, ah, oh, I got something on my finger. I don't fear arts and craft projects. Oh, oh, that that's perfect. Okay, okay, so you, you, you might be able to see this a little bit here, but that sits in there perfect. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna let that sit for just a moment or so. Kinda let it hold itself. 
And while that's doing that, I'm gonna come over here and just throw some glue down on the other part. Cause when I'm done with this here, this should be like two pieces I just combined, combined like Voltron. If you're old like me, you know who Voltron is. If, if you're not that old, you, you, you don't know Voltron and you're missing out on a lot. You know, it's Voltron is all, always about teamwork. It takes a team to get things done. That's what Voltron is all about. There we go. There we go. All right. So we got that first part in there. And all I got to do now is like attach it on here. I'm going to attach this bad boy on here somehow. Oh, I got, I got it upside down. There we go. You got to look at the pattern. There we go. And it just kind of pops right on there. And see, I got a little bit of overlap. Got a little bit of excess on there, and that's totally fine. I wanted that. I absolutely wanted that. It's like Bob Ross said, happy little mistakes. They're happy mistakes. Okay, so this is starting to drip. That's scary. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, I can't do that right now. Okay, not yet, not yet. I'm just going to try to, ah, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. But eventually, the two will merge into one. So I'm going to let everything sit as it is right now. That is really dripping. That's kind of um, okay at this point. Remember, I'm never going to drink out of this again. Never am I going to drink out of this here. So it can do that. It can do that all freaking day, buddy. All right. I, I, think, I think I'm just going to let it sit and drip. And while the other side is doing the exact same thing, I'm going to set a timer and hopefully in a couple of hours or maybe even tomorrow, I'll just come back in and just, um, what do you call it? Glue those two pieces together. Glue the two main pieces together. I've got a knife so I can shave away any of this excess stuff, but the excess stuff that's dripping down is going to be inside of the inner wall, which, again, we don't care about. We just want it to be as intact as possible. And there are some dripping in the center of this here. Looks like there's a chip in there, too. Yeah, there is a chip in there. Look at that. There's some kind of a chip. Oh, come on. Got it. Okay, so this is part of the body. Somewhere in the body, there is an extra chip, a blue chip that's missing. And I have the piece that goes onto it. I don't know where that chip goes. I legitimately don't know where that chip goes, but I got an extra chip that I can use. And again, I'm going to spin this around for you here. All I'm going to do is combine these two together and it'll be done. There you go. So you see this black line here, and black line there. Those two, they just come together and that forms the Jesse and Katie Starbucks. And that will actually conclude this whole thing. The bottom of it is in very good condition. Um, sometimes the bottoms will have a hole in it to let air pressure go through, but it looks like the some of the newer ones, they don't have um, the actual hole there. They just have the indentation of where the hole would have gone. So I don't know whether, whether that was the reason why mine just kind of like snapped. I don't know, but that's okay. That is the end of this video here. <sighs> okay, so just waking up not too long ago. Um, and last night, what I did was I got these two pieces. I looked them over. Everything looks good enough. Um, I'm telling you right now, it is not perfect, but it is good enough for what I need. So here's the next thing. The next thing I need to do is combine these two. But before I do that, I do want to explain that 
I originally was thinking that this would be more like um, crazy glue and it would bond instantly. That is not the case whatsoever. Instead, it took some time. It, it, this is more like rubber cement and epoxy like mix. So it took some time for this stuff to really bond together. And that's all I gotta do is just connect these two dots here. But last night I got my karambit and I shaved off the excess glue that was on here. So as I spun this around, I noticed a couple of things. I'm slightly off and like one spot I'm slightly off, but that's okay because remember, this is not something we're gonna drink out of. This is just something I am going to um, use to hold pencils and pens or stuff like that. Now I've got this one chip here and this is a valid chip but I have no idea where it goes. It doesn't seem to fit anywhere on here, which is something I think I discovered a long time ago when I originally broke it. And I thought it was supposed to go right here, but it's too big to go there because there's a lot of red here and it just doesn't match. That's so weird. So regardless, um, what I'm gonna do is um, just check the inner rim one more time. And if this is all smooth, which I believe it is, it was late last night, but I'm pretty sure I got it all. A little bit of smoothness right there. Look at smooth here too. Well, I thought I got it all off last night. There we go. Let's see. Whatever this adhesive is, it acts a little bit like um, um, rubber cement a little bit there. Once you get a, a nick off of it, you should be able just to pull it off. There we go. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Sorry if I'm making some loud noises. Some loud scraping noises. Okay, so we got that in there. And the next thing we're gonna do is glue the two parts together. I'm just gonna put this chip to the side. I still just don't know where that chip goes. Oh, really? Sorry, I had to use my mouth. I had to use the teeth for that. Gotta thank Ma for the teeth. Keeping them all healthy and everything when I was a kid. You know, forced me to brush my teeth during the pandemic. That's one thing I really don't like doing. I hate brushing my teeth during the pandemic. I hate doing it. I hate brushing my teeth because it's, it's like, I gotta stop for two minutes. I got an electric toothbrush. I got to stop for two minutes and do 30, 30, 30, 30. And it's kind of annoying. It's, it's kind of annoying. I, I really hate it. It's like, we need to have robots. Robots that can wake us up in a nice way and then brush our teeth for us. Okay, so we got the glue in there. Now this actually does smell. This, this this does smell. And I'm just gonna drop it in there, just like that. Knock it out, you're not going nowhere, buddy. And that is it. This little project is complete. It can't get any better than this here. It could get a lot worse than this, but it can't get any better than this here. There are obvious cracks in the dead center there. Again, that's the reason why I would not be using this to um, drink out of. I'm gonna more or less be a vessel for um, objects. <sighs> 
which unfortunately is the nature of the double walled um, toddlers, toddler, toddlers, tumblers, tumblers that Starbucks sells. The, the unfortunate part is these things, they tend to break very easily. You have to hand wash them. You can't use them in a dishwasher. I've had um, some crazy mistakes. I checked into a hotel once and I put my, I dropped my bag and I forgot that my Starbucks mug was in that bag. And when I dropped it, I heard this loud clunk. And I was like, oh, that was the mug. And it was really cool. And it's one that had, um, um, what do you call it? Sailor tattoos on it, which is really unique. So, yeah, this is good enough. That is the end of this little video session. And I'm going to combine this video here with the other um, video that I did yesterday. So it'll show um, the completion of this actual um, piece of material here. And probably the next thing I'm going to do is bring um, the camera really close. Bring it over here or something like that. And just let you see the details. So these are the details of the actual mug. You can see a little shimmer or shine there. That's where all the glues are. And this is where it actually broke really bad. Same thing over here. I can't replace these chips here. So but this is the pattern. There's like coffee beans in it, flowers in it, um, leaves. This is like really, really pretty. And there's like an ocean view here with like a pink sun. It's kind of cool. Again, more coffee beans. And this is where it says Starbucks, Jesse and Katie. That is the end of this video here. Oh, I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like too. Let's take a quick look. There we go. That's the detail on the inside. It's really not that clean on the inside, but you can see on the outer edges and stuff, this is kind of really rough. That's the reason why I keep saying I cannot use this to actually drink out of. So, oh well. The end.